welcome to this online class here today we are studying about the representation of rational numbers on the number line how we can represent a rational number on a number line that is we know about how to draw a number line that is here it is a number line okay that is you know about that that is here it is from the center it is o that is origin that is O, here it is origin, and in the left side it is negative values, and the right side it is positive values. Here, how can we represent a rational number on a number line? Here, the first question is minus 1 by 2 and minus 3 by 2. How we can represent this minus 1 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 on this number line? Let's, we can take it as, that is the first value, that is the positive value, that is we can, we can take it as A, and then B, and then C etc. And left side it is A dash, B dash, C dash, etc. D dash, okay, etc. That is we can take it as the value of that is here it is O to A, that is O A and A to B A B and B to C B C. That is these are the positions on the number line. This is 1, positive 1, 2, 3 etc. Left side it is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 etc. Here how can we represent these two these two rational numbers on this on this uh, number line? That is here, look at that is the important, the, the denominator is important. Here the denominator is 2. Here the denominator is 2. That is with this denominator we can divide this into that is from O to A we can divide this with this denominator, we can divide this distance into two equal parts. That is 1, 2. And here again, then from A to B, A dash to B dash, divide into two parts. And from B dash to C dash, it is again divided into two parts. And from C dash to D dash, again divided into two parts. And from this, from, uh, from the origin to the positive side, that is, divide again, divide into two parts. This A in A between A and B two parts and between B and C two parts. And then how can we represent this these two numbers in the number line? First one is uh, we can make it as this is plus one by two. That is here this is the positive value one by two. That is the positive value one by two. Here this is from origin and from this we can count it as that is this is one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. Here it is, the numerator is 1. That is this 1 by 2. Here it is the value 1 by 2. And from this is the second value is negative value. From this left side, the negative values are in the left, uh, left side, that is minus 3 by 2. But we can count it as, that is, starting from 0, that's, this is 1. 1, minus 1, minus 2, and this is minus 3. Minus 3 divided by the two equal parts that is minus 3 divided by 2 that is the first representation that is 1 by 2 is positive starting from 0 that is this is 1 2 etc and here it is 1 by 2 and to the left side it is negative values starting from 0 that is this is 1 2 3 that is minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 this is minus 3 by 2 and move on to the next question it is minus 5 by 3 4 by 3 and 2 and 2 is a whole number, 2 is a whole number. First we can look at this, to this 3 numbers that is minus 5 by 3 and 4 by 3. And here the denominator is 3, the, the uh, 2 denominators are 3. And let's draw a line, number line. From again from 0 that is uh, A, B, C, D etc. And then here that is a dash b dash c dash d dash etc okay yes, and then here the de uh, denominator is 3 denominator is 3 that is divide these three uh, these uh, distance between o and a and a to b and b to c into three equal parts that is 1 2 that is 1 2 3 equal parts again it is into 1 2 that is 1 2 3 and again in that is 1, 2, 3 and here also we are dividing it into 3 equal parts that is 1, 2, 3 and on the left side it is 1, 2 that is 1, 2, 3 and again 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 and then again it is 1, 2 that is 1, 2, 3 and again it is 3 equal parts. Okay, that is we are dividing this with the denominator. 
that is three equal parts that is from zero that is this is the origin from origin it is three equal parts so that is one two and three and uh, and again that is from a to b it is three equal parts and so on and here first question is minus five by three minus five by three is starting from here starting from here we move, go on to the left side that is this is one one two three four five that is this is five by three this is five by three that is from moving to the left side we divide into three parts that is one two three this is a dash and this is b dash and this is c dash okay this is b dash okay and here again it is a b c d and moving to the left side it is that is counting from zero that is this is one two three four five Five. That is, this is here. It is minus five by three. Here it is minus five. But this is the position of minus five by three. And the next one is a positive value that is starting from zero here and move on to the left, uh, right side. That is, start. That is here. It is one, two, three, four. This is four by three. That is here. It is one, two, three, four. This is four by three. And two is a whole number. Or where is it? Is two. That is one. This is two. Okay, these are the three values that we represent on the number line. This is how we can represent a rational numbers on a number line. Next, inserting rational numbers between two given rational numbers. That is, inserting rational numbers between two given rational numbers. That is, how to insert two rational. That is, uh, that, uh, how to insert an another rational number. In between two given rational numbers, that is, we know that uh, for every uh, two given rational numbers, there are infinite number of rational numbers. In between two given rational numbers, there are infinite number of rational numbers. That is how how can we insert a, a, another rational number in between two given rational numbers? This is the formula. If a and b are two rational numbers, these are the two given rational numbers. And a plus a plus b by two is also an, another rational number that lies between a and b. That is, a and b are two rational numbers, and a plus b by two is also a rational number that lies between the given two rational numbers. Let's do a question. That is, insert two rational numbers between seven and eight. Insert two rational numbers between seven and seven and eight. That is here. It is a is equal to seven and b is equal to eight. And the formula is a plus b by two. We need two rational numbers. And first one is that is seven, and the second one is seven plus eight by two. And next is eight. Okay, seven. And in between this is seven plus eight by two. And the last one is eight. And here that is equal to seven. That is seven plus eight is equal to fifteen by two and eight. That is equal to seven fifteen by two. Is, that is fifteen divided by two is equal to seven point five and eight. That is this is the first rational number in between seven and eight. And the next uh, second one is that is seven. That is you can choose any. That is uh, if we can choose this this one and uh, another one. The here it is the another one. You can choose anywhere. That is seven, seven plus seven point five by two, and seven point five. That is here. I choose this in between these two. That is this is one. That is seven, the first one, and the second one is seven plus seven point five by two. And here it is that one. And after that, it is seven point five, and last one is eight. Okay, and it is seven. Seven plus seven point five is equal to. Fourteen point five by two, seven point five, and eight. And the answer is seven. Fourteen point five by two is equal to seven point two five. And the next one is seven point five and eight. These are the two rational numbers in between seven and eight. And uh, this is the method to find uh, the rational numbers in between two given rational numbers. Uh, there are infinite number of rational numbers. This is the first method to find the rational numbers in between these two. Okay.
The next subtopic is method of finding large numbers of rational numbers between two given rational numbers. In the first method, uh, we have studied about that is for two whole numbers, that is in between two, uh, two rational numbers, there are infinite number of rational numbers. The first method is the formula is a plus b by 2. Here it is uh, two rational numbers, that is 3 by 4 and 7 by 8. How can we find five rational numbers in between 3 by 4 and 7 by 8? How can we find five rational numbers in between 3 by 4 and 7 by 8? Here, that is the first uh, step is find the LCM of 4 and 8. Find the LCM of, find LCM of 4 and 8. That is LCM of 4 and 8 is equal to 2, 2, 4. That is 2, 2, 7, 4, 2, 7, 8. 8 is the LCM. LCM is equal to, LCM is equal to 8. LCM is 8. And then convert, that is second step is equal to convert the denominators into 8. Convert the denominators into 8. Change the denominators into 8. That is 3 into, that is 2 divided by 4 into 2. That is 3 into 2 is equal to 6 divided by 4 into 2 is 8. And that is for 7 by 8, no need of changing the denominators. That is that the denominator is already 8. So first one we have to change. That is 3 by 4 into 2 is equal to 6 by 8. That is the second second step. And third one, if we need, that is 5, we need 5 rational numbers. Since 5 rational numbers is required, that is Take 5, adding 1 to this 5 and is equal to 6. Adding 1 to this 5, that is we need 5 rational numbers. Adding 1 to this 5 and is equal to 6 rational numbers are required. And then that is multiplying these 2 rational numbers into 6. That is equal to 6 into 6 by 8 into 6. And the second one, 7 into 6 by 8 into 6. That is equal to, we, we, need, we get 6, 6 are 36 by 48 and 7, 6 are 42 by 48. That is 36 by 48 and 40, that is, we, we need 5 rash numbers. That is adding 1 to this and we get 6 and multiply these 2 rational numbers into 6. That is 6 in, uh, multiplying the uh, numerator and denominator that is 6 into 6 and 8 into 6. 6 into 6 is 36 by 48 and here it is 7 into 6 is 42 by 48. The denominators are same and the, the rational numbers are the required rational numbers are in between these two rational numbers. The required rational numbers are in between these two rational numbers. The required rational numbers are that is 36, 37 by 37 by 48 and then 38 by by 48 and then next is uh, 39 by 48 and then 39 by 48 36 by 48 and 42 by uh, 48. 39 by 48 and the next next one is 40 by 48 and then 41 by 48. These are the required 5 rational numbers in between 3 by 4 and 7 by 8. We can, uh, we can write in the reduced form of these fractions that is first one is no no change that is 37 by 48 and second one we can divide it by 2 that is 19 by 24 that is 19 by 24 and third one is by dividing by 3 that is 13 by 13 by uh, 48 divided that is equal to 20, uh, 6, 16 sorry 16 13 by 16 and then the next one is by, by 2, that is uh, 5 by 4, uh, 5 by uh, 6, that is dividing by 5, 5, 8s are, four, five, eights are 40 and 5, uh, sorry, 8, 5s are 40 and 8, 6 are 48, 5 by 6, that is 13 by 16, 13 by 16 and 5 by 6, 5 by 6 and last one is 20, that is 41 by 48. These are the Required rational numbers in between, required rational numbers in between 
this 3 by 4 and 7 by 8. Okay, this is the method to find the finding large numbers of rational numbers between two given rational numbers. I hope you understood this lesson. This is the end of this lesson and uh, in the next class we will move on to the second lesson that is exponents. Thank you.